Jones versus uh, Gustafsson. I think Jones won the fight. If you're the champ, you have to take the belt from the champ. You got to beat the champ. I gave him a uh, two, four, and five. If uh, if, if Gus would have, you know, been in his face a little more in the last couple rounds, I think it, it, you could have made the argument for the tie or maybe for him to win. But uh, you know, after that big elbow, he was backing up a lot. His his uh, posture for the fight wasn't wasn't in the fight anymore. You know, he looked like he was backing up. He was a little gassed. Um, amazing fight, though. I want to see it again, but I, I would have to go with Jones. He's the champ, and he, he remain, remains the champ. I had Jones up 3-2. It was close, real close. I just thought, you know, I, I gave Jones 3-2. When I was the champion, I don't think I got that, that uh, you know, that rule didn't go my way where, you know, you got to beat the, convincingly beat the champion. So, you know, we have judges for a reason. There's, there's like you said, a 10-point must system. That's what it should go by. It shouldn't go by who's the champ or not. He, two, guy, two guys and uh, stand-up fights, boxing. Gustavo is very good boxing, movie all the time. And uh, John Jones is very classic fight, fighter. I don't know. Uh, my opinion, John Jones win, but for a little distance. I want to this fight again. Definitely Jones. I think I think Gustafson might have had it early on. I mean, he looked good. He was moving around. He was picking him apart. But Jones just just imposed his will and ended up coming out with a win. I picked Gustafson. Uh, I thought Gustafson won the fight. Um, I, I haven't seen the fight metric. I haven't looked at the, the the strikes or anything like that. But just from my gut instincts and my feel of the fight, I think I think Gustafsson won. I think he did a lot of damage in the first three rounds. The fourth round was obviously a Jones a Jones round, but Gustafsson hung in there. And then the fifth round, he played it smart, and I still I still think he did enough to, to keep the round close enough for him to steal the fight. Uh, I, I thought Gustafsson chose, uh, took the fight, and I really think Jones needs to give him a rematch. I thought. Uh Gustafson won. You know, if you just look at the numbers, one takedown to one takedown, 120 significant strikes to 191 significant strikes. Who got more beat up? So I'm going with uh, Gustafson. He won that fight. I feel he won that fight. So whatever. I think Gustafson won. You know, I got to support my fellow Scandinavian here. And uh, I think I think he won. You know, I, I think uh, it was a great fight, obviously. And uh, I think I think I think he edged it. You know, he, he definitely dealt out more damage, you know, but it was a close fight. It was a close fight, and uh, Jones kind of rallied in the end, and, and that uh, got him the victory, you know. By the by, the third round, you know, I'm like, man, this is all Gustafson, but Jones rallied in the end, but uh, I still had it for, for, for Gustafson, but I hope, I'd like to see him fight again, you know. I, I think the, I think he put on such a good performance, and it was a, such a close fight, I think he deserves to get a rematch. I think Jones won the fight. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I think the world wasn't ready for Gufferson to come out and look that good against John Jones. I think they were ready for John Jones just to roll through him again and be done with it, you know. And, and but uh, he he did such a great job staying in the fight uh, and controlling a lot of things that John Jones wasn't ready for. And I think that's what made the fans sort of start pulling for Gufferson. And you know, I did too. I was like, I can't wait for the rematch. So uh, we'll see what happens. It, it's a really, really tough with MMA in general, in this fight in particular, about trying to, you know, figure out what weighs more. Four minutes of, you know, being consistent and, and working and chipping away versus a minute of domination. Uh, you know, I, I think it's, you know, it's a coin flip. It, it's all about, you know, how those couple judges happen to see a fight and, you know, trades are close, you know, what's it matter? Uh, you know, Jones was the champ, he kept the title. I think when, it, when it's a situation like that where it's really close, I think it's how it should be. Uh, you know, but I would love to see them fight again. You know, maybe not right away, you know, maybe give Gustafson one more win and then do it again. Uh, Jones, I love you, brother, but <laughs> Gustafson really won that fight, bro. I mean, it's... If you watch the fight, you could tell. I mean, you came out. He came out. He did this thing, but I mean, he did lose the first, the one, one, two, and three. Uh, he came back. He came back strong in the second round, which is awesome. He did his thing in the second, uh, four, fourth, and fifth round. Um, he came back like a true champion, and that's what helped him win the fight. But in my eyes, in everybody else's eyes, he actually. He actually lost, the, lost that round, lost that fight. It's not about what I think. It's about what the judges think. If it was up to me, Alex would Alex would be, Alex would have had a belt. But it's not up to me. It's up to the judges. And the judges judge. That's what they do. Hey, this is Ariane Celeste. This is Uriah Faber. This is Glover Teixeira. This is Dan Henderson. You're watching MMA Interviews. And MMA Interviews. You're watching MMAInterviews.tv.